This is Mementos for Persona 5 recreated in Minecraft. And we build an ice boat racing track on it. After putting almost 100 racers to the test for an entire month, the top 18 remained. These 18 drivers then got separated into 6 teams. We got the smart ones, the children, the team that, that doesn't really speak, the returning faces from last season, honestly these guys will do anything to win, and the greasy Americans. And definitely let us know down in the comments which team you will be supporting this season. So now that you know about the drivers, let's quickly talk about the track. Mementos is a high speed track making use of blue eyes, but these two things make it special. Right here, the track splits into two. You can take this to your advantage if you use it wisely. Then there's this. Once again, the track splits. This time you got a bottom and a top route. The bottom route has a huge speed build-up since you start accelerating earlier. The top route, however, could be used to stop this acceleration. You do this by jumping from the top path to the bottom path, so you can try stopping and blocking your opponent. You're gonna see this. Now, enough track talk. Let's get on the track and see our starting positions. We start our first race with a greasy gamer on pole position. Rocket Race edges out Soda Soaker by 500. Real quick, guys. Take a look at the times our drivers put down. Everybody's 1.25 seconds away from each other. Like, come on, this is insane. Gustav starts off the season in a great way, getting third. Another greasy gamer, Lapis, joins him on the second row. Gustav's pupil, Pigalala, is only two positions behind his mentor. He's joined by runner up of last season, Laser Sloth. Newcomer Nino starts our fourth row. Besides him is our favorite turtle, Purple Toki. Adam Apple and Noah are right behind them. Our last champion, Renokas, only gets 11th on the grid. He's joined by our Mexican superstar, El Sacco. Two returning faces make up our seventh row, Mariana and Ozo. Sekiro and our last greasy gamer, Crispy, start 15th and 16th. Our biggest beam star and Duke of Lag, Blue Leader starts the last grid row, and he's joined by Evil Scientist. Now, with everybody ready in their starting position, we start it. The pits That's are so wild. Greasy gamer. Ooh. Let's do this. We're going. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, it's starting, guys. It's been a year since we've raced. Let's do it, guys. And we start in three, two, one, and we're off. Everybody at the front seems to have a great start. They're still in their original position, though. Let's see, maybe they can do something here. Gustav goes a little bit too wide. This gives Alapis the opportunity to go on the inside, and he will. Will we overtake Gustav here in the upcoming corners? Nino gets bumped by Laser Sloth, which then causes a huge collision behind him. El Sokoro doesn't care and he goes past. And not only El Sokoro does it, Renokas also dodges two of these drivers. That's really good from him. Ozone just goes straight on past as well. It seems the entire team of Yura has been stopped by that collision. And now Nino gets stopped once again. Oh, this is really bad for the team. Can they come back? Someone who does take this opportunity though is Evil as he slides by so many drivers. This is a sin and even Adam's here. Lapis is still battling with Gustav into these corners. He goes a little bit too slow. Gustav also tries to speed up but he gets lagged back. Will this give Lapis the position? I don't know. We'll see up in these next corners once again. They're both taking really good lines. But it seems Lapis is just a little bit in front of Gustav. And he, yeah, he does hold back a little bit. That's smart of him. I never thought I'd see it today, but Renokas is fighting with Crispy and he's losing. What is this? The reserve driver of last year just overtakes the champion of last year. Speaking of, here comes Blue Leader and he also passes Renokas. He's in shambles. And he now takes the bottom path, which might not be a good idea with so many people here. They have to dodge so many people, because that's the most important part. You have to dodge the people in front of you. Oh no, Mariana came out of nowhere! She fell out of the sky! And I was I was just talking about that. And now, both Adam and Noah are going into pits, with Adam still in front. 
What is it? That's not his pet. Adam, that's not your pet. What are you doing? Oh, no. This is going to cost him something. Noah, though, he is going for a correct pit. Let's now let's see. Going into the pick stop, they have to click all of these little blocks before their pit stop is done. And they're both in it at the same time. Let's see who does it faster. Now, it seems that Noah is done first, but he's a little bit behind Adam still. He still has to go to that pit stop. Now, Adam is done. And who's going to come from? It seems like Adam is. No, no, it, it seems that Noah is. And Noah overtakes Adam in this pit stop. That's insane. What an overtake. In the meantime, we have El Sako between two old-timers, which are Laser and Toki. And I think El Sako just passed Toki. I ain't no pussy. I go down. He might not be a pussy, but well, is he a dumbass? Because Piggle is right on top of him. Woo. Bye, Piggle. All right, Gustav just dodged him. That's very good for him. Noah now, though. Oh, I think Noah... Messed up! He done goofed and Adam goes past! There goes his cool pizza overtake! And it seems that the cameramen have a very interesting strat with everybody, all three of them, pitting very early. Now Toki and Renokos have done their pits as well. This is very interesting. So interesting in fact, I think you should like, subscribe and comment. Also hit that bell button. To get notified for the next race, which will be coming soon. Okay, now we can get back into it. Blue Litter is behind Evil as he goes down the inside, which he doesn't. Well, it wasn't really smart for him. Now, Zekra just gets a free overtake since Blue Litter bumped. Gustav goes down once again. Will he be as lucky as last time and dodge Biggle? Why did he do it again? I have no clue. But here he comes, and he doesn't get lucky, he just smacks right into him. No, that's, that's, that's what you get, Gustav, I'll be honest. And now Laser and El Sako are chasing him down as well. He has to be careful. No! No! Evil! Get the fuck out of here, Evil! Evil, get the fuck out of here, Evil! God damn it, motherfucker! <laughs> I bumped her, I bumped her, I bumped her. <laughs> Let's go, GG Dub! Oh, Adam, you know what's, what, what is gonna be perfect time for now. You... Oh, 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 it's coming! <laughs> Bro, go left, I go right. <laughs> it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all that we have. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. And I'll see you again. When I see you again. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> when I see you again. <laughs> and I see you again, finally. Whew. That was a long time, bro. Wow, that was beautiful. Anyways, here we have Piggle and Gustav still fighting. Now it's the reverse with Gustav on the top route and Piggle in the bottom. Laser and Sokko are also here. Now let's see how this goes. Piggle gets lagged back. Can he still be in front of Gustav? He does have more speed. And here he comes. And he does bump Gustav, who's now in trouble because Laser slides past. And not only Laser does, I think El Sokko. Yeah, here he comes. El Sokko will also try and go for the kill. Gustav though on the inside, but El Sako's on the outside. Let's see how it does here. He goes for the block stop. I think he missed this block stop. Yeah, he does go slide a little bit too wide. And Laser gets an overtake. Now, will El Sako make the stick as well? I think he will because Gustav just bumped into the end of Laser. And now Gustav lost two positions. My man is down bad. Laser is not done yet though. Here he goes up the elevator. Will he be faster than Osaka, who also comes in there at the same time? They both took a different path. And now Laser's getting lag back. And it's really bad for him because he gets thrown off the track. And Gustav and El Sako take those positions from him. Now Gustav is forced into taking the bottom route since Laser is going top. Can Gustav get this overtake on Laser with the faster speed? He would have to dodge him though, which is very difficult. Ozone, Gustav's teammate, also joins this battle as he's right behind Gustav. If Laser messes up now, he will be in a very big problem. It seems Gustav passes Laser and Ozone does as well. I think Laser got slowed down somehow. Biggle ends encountering Blue, who's on the track? What? No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. No, 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 this can't be happening. No, I was so fine. I was so fine. I see some things never change. We can see Blue Leg out again and again. What the frick? Hey! Hey! Mariana! What the frick, bro? She just cut in front of me! What the fuck? She was coming up on the bottom route and just was like, Oh, here's Lapis, let me just fuck him. Yo, Blue Leader's 316? Yo! Blue Leader just dove on me too! Bro, do people headhunting me? No! Laser do! Laser do! What? He fucking head haunted me! Oh! I lost the position! That was insane! Gustav is now gonna be sliding into the pits! And I think Reno will actually collide with him when he comes out! I'm gonna get ready for this one! I'ma sit back! Ah, uh, he doesn't quite get it. Piggle now with a defensive move. He's going to pit so he can stay ahead of Gustav. Very smart move for him. Oh, wait, Techno going down. I can bump him. It seems we're playing this game again. Can Gustav dodge Renokast? Well, here he comes. Renokast jumps down. Gustav is getting faster and faster. Here he comes. Oh, just about he dodges it. One nice move from Gustav. Piggle now comes out of the pits and he does stay ahead of Gustav though, so it was a good strat and it paid off. Next member of Mudo Racing, El Sacco, goes into the pits. And it's rinse and repeat for Renokast since now Blue Leader is in front of him and he's also going down. This time though he's supported by his teammate Adam as the Renokast tries to block Blue Leader and I think he does because Blue Leader seems to be swerving as well. Can Adam get this overtake here? El Sacco goes into the mix as well while Gustav bumps him a little bit. Now it's Adam versus El Sacco with Blue Leader ahead of him. This is gonna be very hectic and they're really close together. Let's see, literally side to side, Adam a little bit on the inside so he probably is a little bit faster. He will have to take a little bit of a better line. Oh and El Sacco gets bumped. I mean you're so far ahead of Soda like some things would need to go catastrophically wrong to lose that. Hey, but this is not foreshadowing. It seems that they're talking pit strategy at Greasy Gaming. Lepis is right, however. Something needs to go horribly wrong for Rocket to get passed by Soda Soaker. Jesus! Okay, Soda's putting out some fast laps right now. Holy crap. Be careful. I'm pitting again. I'm pitting again. I can't. I can't. I can't be behind Adam. I can't. It seems Rocket got out at the very bad spot. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Please go down. Please go down. He's going down. <laughs> Oh, you take left, I take right. No! No! Yes! Yes, I bumped Crispy! <laughs> Fuck! Shit! The same thing happened as last time as Gustav comes out in front of Renokas. And once again, Gustav takes his corner a little bit better, so he stays in front. Now, will Gustav go down? Or will he stay up the next time around? If he goes down, then he's fucked. He's going down! He's going down! And oh my god! <laughs> oh wait, no, he's, he's swerving through us? Shit! Oh my god, he's good! Gustav with the evading moves! That's insane! Oh no, will he do it again this time though? This might be bad. Noah seems to be going down, so now it's Gustav that's trying to bump Noah, that, then Reno who's trying to bump Gustav, and Adam who's also there. My god, this is insane. <laughs> Nobody gets to bump anyone though. 
Now Biggles coming out of the pits. I might have to eat my words because Gustav is very close to Noah. And Noah gets bumped. Never mind, somebody gets bumped. It was Noah by Biggle. No, can Renault also get past Noah? It's really close. No, he gets bumped by Noah. Once again, I'm wrong. And Adam goes past his teammate Renault cars. We have entered the final laps and our top three still need to do the pits. I'm literally right behind Soda. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. I can overtake him on this. I can do it, I can do it. Come on. Can Lepis secure this one too? Yeah, he's right there. Soda only needs to make one mistake and Lepis will get him this final lap. Gonna see some prime racing right here. Oh god, Mariana? No! Oh shit! Damn! Never mind! We might not see a battle for a second, but we're gonna see a battle for a seventh with Noah, Adam, and Ozone trying to get this position. Now it seems that Ozone is still in front, but somebody will mess up here, and it seems that it will be Adam himself. Ozone and Noah are neck and neck, going straight through the tunnel section. Ozone is taking a red line, he's going wide! Noah takes the position from Ozone, sticking to his guns. Really well done from him. I, I don't know what happened to Ozone, it was really weird. But we have Rocket finishing first. And I win. I'm Let's gonna get go, go Rocket! Yes! Yeah! What an amazing drive from not only Rockets, but also the entirety of Greasy Gaming, as Soda gets second, and Lapis gets third. But our battle is not over yet. Ozone is still battling with Noah as we speak, and Adam is also battling with Ozone. Ozone goes down though, which might be a problem, because the speed he's gathering from going down might not make it to the finish line. He goes past Reno, but when he go past Adam, they're neck to neck once again, and who's gonna finish first? It's Adam! Adam gets 8th and Ozone gets 9th! And that will mark the ending of the first off-season race of the second season. At Mementos, Rocket stood at the top, getting his first ever OS win. Soda finished close to him and he will surely take revenge someday. Lapis getting third really helps Greasy Gaming secure that first position in the Constructors. The best strategy the best strategy goes out to the cameraman, since Stokey gained 4th using only strategy. Even though Blue Leader had lagged out, he still beat Mariana, but she also had some slight lag problems. The standings are just the same as the classification for now, let's see how they change next time. Greasy Gaming proudly stands at P1 in the Constructors. They are not safe yet though, the cameraman and Beta Drive are right behind them. Second Wave and Muda Racing will be battling next time for that 4th position. It seems the practice has really paid up for our top two teams. Your, however, is dead last. Thanks for watching the first race of the second off season. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future notifications. That's all for me. Have a good one.